what's going on guys? Welcome back once again. It's me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today playing some more Clash Royale. So, the balance changes have been in the game for a little while. Um, we are seeing what's going on, uh, what's working, what isn't working. Um, it seems like if you guys saw my tweet, first of all, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, there's a link to it down in the description. I'm almost at 100,000. Let's get there. But I tweet a lot, and I tweeted earlier about the Hog, and I feel like it's still pretty strong. The Hog Valkyrie um, Musketeer deck that you guys have seen me play before, still really, really strong. Now, am I playing it? No, because like I've told y'all, I'm trying new things. I'm trying to have more fun. I'm trying to um, just switch things up again. And so today we're going to jump into a couple of replays. I always do live attacks at the end, so you guys obviously want to stay around for that. But this first one, we are facing someone with a giant and a Sparky. I'm pretty sure he had a giant. Um, and a lot of you guys are like, dude, Sparky is so strong. How do you counter it? Help us out. So today I'm going to show you all how I countered two Sparkies in one lane and took the victory. Okay, so I was wrong. He didn't have a giant, um, but he did have Sparkies. <laughs> Um, so here's a deck that I was using. I really enjoy minor decks. I think they're fun. I think they create a lot of pressure. I think they are harder to play um, than some other decks. Like you have to, the minor is such a, a focused troop that you have to time him perfectly. Otherwise, you have to use a zap. If you don't use your zap well, then you're going to run into trouble. So right over here, you can see we've got our minor back there and we've got our guards coming in. Don't work. Guards are a great card now. I think they're perfect they're really really good i love them uh they're a blast to play with we've got this valkyrie that we got to deal with never leave a valkyrie alone on your tower guys she will absolutely melt it um so you can see that our deck right now has three musketeers in it okay and um the way that you play this is you drop them off you split them in the back and then depending on how they defend you send your um your miner up to one of the towers and you can either send it to the tower with two uh, musketeers or the tower with one musketeer on it. And either way, it's going to get a lot of damage on. So he's got a max Sparky, guys. Watch this. We're just going to zap real quick. Um, and the musketeers are going to do work. <laughs> now, yes, he does freeze. And watch this. Watch this. This is ridiculous. Wow. Took out a um, a guard as well as that uh, as well as that musketeer, which is crazy. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and drop off the miner. He's going to get taken out really easily. And uh, that wasn't the best counter obviously but if you guys don't have a zap in your deck and you're facing a lot of sparkies throw a zap in your deck that is the best thing it resets it it takes it five more seconds to focus and um, it's pretty clutch so at this point this guy's probably feeling pretty strong he's like i'm good like i'm good <laughs> he's got his uh got his pumps down over there i'm not really messing with the pumps at this point so now i'm gonna split it up here um because the musketeers didn't help too much on the left side so now we're going to try and take out this tower on the right side uh, with a little bit of fun here, okay? So we're going to get some stuff rolling over on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and zap right there. Go ahead and send these guards off. And what's going to happen to the guards? Uh, that is, they're going to have their shields up and nothing happens to them. So we're going to send our miner over there. He's going to start doing a little bit of work. Um, now he does have this uh, Valkyrie over here that, again, we can't ignore. So we're going to drop off uh, our goblins in the middle. Valkyrie's going to head over. And because of that, she's going to get off one less shot. So we'll go ahead. And drop off once again, start our push. Yes, he does have pumps down, which a complete game changer. If you two pumps down, it's a complete game changer. So we are pushing hard over here on the right side, guys, going after it. Uh, he's got that zap spell. Oh, he doesn't have that zap. We're going to use our zap on the right side. Uh, he's got his Valkyrie over there as well doing some work, but we got that tower down pretty far. Now watch this. This right here is dirty, guys. This is dirty. Dropping these muskets off. Now he's got two of them over there. Um, and we are just going to keep on messing around with them. Uh, we've got our zap available. Go ahead and drop these guards off. And what's going to happen? They're just going to lose their shield. And then we're going to zap. And our musketeer over here is going to do some work on this tower. And uh, take it down right there for the victory. Two max sparkies on that left lane. And we took it out. Zap is key, guys. Zap is key. Zap is so key. Why am I not opening any of these uh, to making that happen? Now, I'm going to show you guys another game against Giant Balloon, which is another really strong deck right now. And we're using a minor deck as well, which generally is kind of hard to counter Giant Balloon. So we're going to counter that. I'm going to show it to you guys, and then we're going to jump into a live attack at the end of the video, okay? All right, so um, Giant Balloon. It's strong. It costs 10 Elixir, but if you got your pumps down, you're good to go. I actually know Lolo Light. 
uh, he jumps in and out uh, between Bernie or Bust and In the Light. So uh, that's how I know him. Now we're just going to start off with our princess down here in the back. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just send my miner up to uh, take out that pump over there. That's the whole key right there. And we're going to go ahead and zap. And we're going to get that pump. I think we destroy it. No, we get it real close though. Um, so that was a waste of elixir for him. Because it cost me three elixir. I guess it cost me five. Um, because I had the pump as well. Or because I used the zap as well. Um, but it wasn't that big of a deal. We took it out. Got rid of that advantage for him. Um, now he does have uh, his barbs right here. But watch this. Prince is about to shoot again. Uh, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Prince is shoot for me. So we got our P.E.K.K.A. coming in hot. And check this. We're going to zap right there. Which was a little bit unfortunate. Um, so up at this point, guys, I haven't seen the balloon. I haven't seen that he has a balloon, so we're uh, 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 we're still out in the out in the open with whether or not he's coming in with a balloon or not. I'm gonna go ahead. And, does he arrow that? Because that would have been a waste. No, he doesn't arrow it. Okay, um, which was smart because it didn't get off that much. So again, not showing his balloon, guys. If you have a, a trump card, you know the Bernie or Bus clan. If you have a trump card or a card that's like your kill card, you kind of want to hide it as best you can until the perfect timing. Um, like starting off with a Sparky, ah, I don't really think that's the best thing to do. Um, starting off with a Royal Giant, sometimes that's not the best. Hog, you can't really hide. There's no real way to trump that. Watch this. That's a, that is a worth poison right there. Taking out the Princess and taking out uh, that Elixir Pump right there. That's clutch. That's really, really clutch. So we're waiting on him right now uh, to do his thing. Again, we don't know that he has the balloon. So we're doing a push on this right side, which is so bad. He has to defend that, thankfully, though. And while he's defending that, we're going to take out his balloon with that zap spell and those minions. Those minions just almost lost the balloon because it was traveling too fast. And I feel like they should be able to travel and attack. I, I don't know. It, it, whatever. Um, so we got that tower down, clutch, and look at this, both of our towers, 2,800 and 3,100, that's good, that's how I was feeling really, really good, um, I thought we were going to be in trouble after that push, but watch this again, here we go, he's going to have his arrows up, we're going to go ahead and poison, and uh, he misses one of the arrows, so we're able to zap right there, because he wanted, he wanted the arrows to be worth, so he tried to hit the tower as well, go ahead, take out his uh, princess right there, look at that princess, I do not think that should happen, um, even though it just happened and it was good for me, I don't think that's good. She was aiming back at the giant, and he died, and she turned and shot in the same motion. Um, I just don't think that's good, whatever. But right here, coming out with the victory, that's what's up. How do you guys feel about that? Like, how do you feel about retargeting? Um, so as you saw, like, that was a, that can be a game changer. I've had that kind of stuff happen, and it's huge game changers where, um, I have a knight on a tower, and the princess is arched back, the tower shoots it, she turns and kills the things that I just deployed to kill her because the knight's still alive. The knight's still alive. It's almost as if troops and towers have a sixth sense in the game and they can predict that something's gonna die in a second or two. I don't think, that, I don't think that's how it should be. Um, I think that once it is actually dead within the game, that's when things retarget. Um, but as you saw right there, that was not the case. So, and I'm sure you guys have experienced that as well. But here's the deck that I'm using right now. It's been a lot of fun playing with this thing. Um, I am going to uh, go ahead and jump into a live match here now. We're at 39.75. Let's see where, where that is. Um, so that's 10th in uh, the country right now. Uh, Slava my gob right here playing that Royal Giant deck. Um, and uh, Boss Hog, this guy, you guys know him, you know Groover. A lot of these guys are from In the Light, Bright Light, obviously. They're just kind of jumping around right now, visiting some other clans uh, and whatnot. But um, what do we got going here? So let's go ahead and jump into a battle, see how we can do. Uh, and guys, I know that there are decks that are winning decks, like Royal Giant decks and the Valkyrie Musketeer Hog deck. But those aren't fun for me to play anymore. Um, I don't want to be somebody that just wants to win because yeah, it's fun to win, but not at the, uh, not at, oh my gosh, we're in so much trouble here. Um, it's fun to win, but not at, not at the expense of, um, there goes that zap. How, okay. How, I just, I'm, I'm just curious, but how did those goblins stay alive so long in a freaking poison spell and move just as fast as they were? I shouldn't have just been talking because if I had zapped that tower, I would have gotten a shot off with the, uh, with the mini P.E.K.K.A., which would have been 
Very, very good. So, Molt, shut up. <laughs> um, all right, so he doesn't know we have a furnace yet. We'll go ahead and drop this bad boy off. Um, oh, man, but it's not timed up with the hog, which isn't going to be good. So that's a little bit stressful. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit of this action right here with this poison. What you got for me? Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Really, so there... <laughs> <laughs> hey, get rid of there we go. Uh, just get rid of that. Get rid of that um, that elixir pump for me, and uh, and we'll be good to go. I will I will love you forever. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. He's is he gonna drop off a hog? No, he's not. He is gonna drop off his musketeer. And let's see if these minions can do a little bit of damage. Um, so they did okay. Uh, we gotta watch out for that hog. He's not bringing it, so we'll go ahead and just drop off right here. And uh, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Uh, obviously I wish we could have done a little bit better there. I ha okay, we haven't seen the freeze yet. Um, I'm totally fine with this right here because, uh, there he, he actually played that well by dropping the, uh, goblins off a little bit further behind, guys. Because that way they didn't die from that splash damage. So right here, we're gonna get up in here, uh, with our, uh, miner first. But he dropped off the Valkyrie, which is a great, uh, counter to that. So, again, guys, this is, this right here is exactly what I was just talking about. This deck is, like... It's still good, and it's honestly it's uh, it's obnoxious to me um, because I just want to I want to face new things. I'm tired of facing the exact same things all the time. It's very obnoxious and annoying. But hey, that's how games like this work. People play what wins, and uh, apparently this is what's winning right now. So uh, we'll go ahead and let that hog go by and watch this. We are going to come in hot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over there, and ah, uh, the Valkyrie's over there. Dang it! So that was not good. Um, we're still in the lead fairly well. I'm okay with that. Obviously, I'm okay with that. Um, let's go ahead and get our thing down. And, you know, we're going to poison this one um, and try and destroy the uh, the Valkyrie over here. Come on, die, Valkyrie. Oh, and, of course, the Musketeer is going to survive. This is going to – this is seriously going to end up just being a freaking poison match. Uh, can I zap? And Yes, nice. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead, and we got to try and get one good push going, guys, um, over here. There he goes with that, and we're going to get a big defense here. Our goblins are going to die, but that's fine because we've got our mini P.E.K.K.A., and we're going to go ahead, head on over to that tower, and let's go ahead and zap that bad boy, see if we can keep them alive. Hopefully the mini P.E.K.K.A. and the goblins should be able to do a little bit of work over there. Let's go ahead and poison all this. Come on, baby, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. Go, Knight, go, Knight, go, Knight, go, go, Knight. Oh my gosh, yes. Get it, Knight. There we go. That's going to be the victory for us, guys. No. Oh my. Okay, yes, it will because we have our zap spell. And that is what I'm talking about. Bringing it back against the strongest deck in the game right now. Like, that That honestly is the strongest deck. And as you guys saw, I thought the hog. Did you guys think that the hog got a nerf? I was pretty sure that the hog rider got a nerf, but it doesn't really seem like it to me at this point. So we're at 39.95. I don't know where that is. Global, probably like 60 something, 70 something. Not 99. <laughs> I honestly don't even care anymore. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed. We're trying new things, guys. We are trying new things that are fun, that are enjoyable. We're switching it up. Um, and honestly, like I get frustrated when I lose, but I get frustrated when I lose to something that everyone's using. Um, and you can like the thing is you can't blame them for that. I can't blame them if they want to be somebody that just wins to use the best deck. You know what I mean? But it's more fun for me to use miners and, and the freaking furnace. Like nobody's using the furnace, but it's fun. It's cool to watch and it's a fun type of um, card in the game that obviously is like unique. Um, but a Valkyrie, a Musketeer, and a Hog isn't really unique to me. Um, but hey, hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys very, very much. We're just trying to have fun, trying to stay positive. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, make sure you keep calm and you cash on for me, okay? Peace.